My name is Christopher Halfester. I'm an assistant professor of communication at Suffolk Community College Grand Campus and also the director of forensics. Uh, forensics is an academic organization who participates in competitive speech competitions. Uh, these competitions are divided into several different categories uh, that revolve around uh, public speaking, debate, as well as dramatic interpretation of literature. My name is Felipe. I'm a member of the speech and debate team and I compete in the impromptu category. For this category, you need to be, you're going to be given a quotation and you have around one to two minutes to do, to prep what you're going to say and five minutes to speak. Vanilla Sky was a movie that was protagonized by Tom Cruise and in this movie, the first, the protagonist was living in New York City and he was having the access to uh, materialistic things and was having access to things that he liked in a, in a world of rich and fortune where he find true love. In order to be competitive on the speech and debate circuit, the students need to spend a tremendous amount of time preparing and prepping their events. I do an, an event called Impromptu. It's a limited speech event. You have seven minutes total, two minutes to prep, and then five minutes to speak. And we have looked at this through two lines of argument. First, that progress is not equal to societal advancement, and second, that the values of the past are often lost in the pursuit of progress. Annabelle Cripps began swimming at a very young age and showed great potential. She won about every race, setting many state records we still stand today. And by the age of 14, she was world ranked for the very first time. However, while achieving such success, she was repeatedly raped and abused by her swim coach throughout her entire swimming career. Unfortunately, this is not an isolated incident. Her tragedy draws our attention to an ongoing issue known as predatory coaching. Uh, I would say that the average student spends anywhere between 10 to 15 hours a week uh, researching, writing, and preparing and rehearsing the various events uh, that they select. So it does take a tremendous amount of time and effort. A recent study in South Korea done by Byung Ki Won, a doctor at the Balanced Brain Center, showed that people in their teens and mid-20s are being diagnosed with a new cognitive condition known as digital dementia, which is defined as a chronic or persistent disorder of the mental processes caused by brain disease, which is linked to mental disorders, personality changes, and impaired reasoning. I steal. I work in the mailroom of my dormitory on Saturday mornings. I've stolen books and money and even letters. Once I got a 50. I steal presents too. I got a sweater and a football. I didn't even want the football, but once it was messed up on the mail table, I had no choice. A lot of students actually find their own topics. They come to me like uh, one of our uh, current students, Nick uh, Kraus, uh, he found his topic on his own and, and came and brought the topic to me. Many people forget that not all inmates are violent offenders and that rape is never part of the sentence. Also, many good and non-dangerous people end up in prison as well. Do the names Martin Luther King Jr., Nelson Mandela, and Gandhi ring a bell? The students on our team compete against uh, very large public private schools, uh, Ivy League schools, and most of the students they are competing against have been doing this for four years in high school, four years in college, and our students are all new. So you have a student doing it for the first time competing against a student that's been doing it for eight years. I've gained intellectual knowledge by partaking in the speech and debate team. My reading skills have amped up a lot because of the amount of reading and information that I have to um, put into my paper that I'm writing. It opened up my mind to so many things. Like, it made my dream bigger for what I want to be. Like, I want to be a pediatrician, but I want to travel. I want to do humanitarian work. I think that anybody could, who is passionate about academics could do forensics and could definitely have a great time with it because these are people that I, I absolutely love and these are my friends and these, I've met a really great community of friends through, especially in a community college where it's harder to meet people and have friends. The, the forensics team has always been fantastic and we always compete together, motivate each other, critique each other's speeches, and we're just a great little community here. <laughs>